Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be updating you on some makeup that I tried recently and a little bit less recently. There is some makeup here that I tried before I started my full-time job and I still owe you an update. So I just went through my drawer of stuff that I still want to review on my channel that I still want to update you on and I just picked out everything where I feel like I'm pretty confident in my opinion. I have something to say about it. I have something to tell you about it. I feel like I'm ready to review them. With some of these things I do feel like it would have been best if I tried it one more time like one time extra but I just really want to go through some makeup and update you and just talk about it and just let you know where I stand on these things so yeah let's just get right into it as you can see it's very sunny behind me it's a very sunny day apparently and I'm feeling pretty sunny pretty summery and yeah, I got some makeup here that I tried in January, February. I feel like a review on these is way overdue. I totally understand if you shame me for this. I'm kind of shaming myself for it. But you know, sometimes that's just how it goes. Okay, let's start with something really, really old already. But you know, I always want to chat about the makeup I try in a first impression a little bit more. I always want to do that because sometimes my opinions change and even if it's a few months later I still think it has a lot of value to go back to these things because if you were thinking about buying them then this is like the video I would tell you to watch like together with swatches and things and how it actually applies but this is really the video that, that I try and film after trying everything a little bit more. I feel like I'm already a bit rambly in this video. I am a bit slow today. Okay so the first thing I want to talk about is the Silent Night palette by Glaminatrix Cosmetics. This is a palette that I really didn't know if I wanted to get at first but then I realized that you could actually take these pens out that these were magnetic because this is not a color story that really speaks to me but the individual shades are really pretty. I thought they were really pretty when I saw the swatches on their Instagram at first and I still think these are really pretty. The green shade didn't work as well as I was hoping but the other mattes are pretty nice. Like it's still pretty nice but it is a little bit dry. I actually feel like this blue and the orangey shade are the best mattes and then this one comes after that and then the green is like it's okay you can make it work it's not the best i think the absolute standout thing about this palette are the shimmers and i didn't actually think at first before i tried it that i was gonna say this but i actually like the shimmer formula of the non multi-chrome shades the best there's something very smooth and metallic but still sparkly about it but not chunky i really like the shade tinsel it's so pretty it is a very warm like coppery burnt orange almost um bubbles it's a really beautiful shifting shade but there's just something a little bit like chunky and sticky about it which makes it look a little bit less smooth on the eye as the other shades which isn't per se a bad thing but this shade is a lot it's like so sparkly it is so shiny it is a lot and i felt like it just maybe moved around a little bit more than the other shades like like really transferred on my eye like went everywhere a little bit after i put it down i didn't feel like it stayed put as well as the other shades i feel like it's also a little bit more sensitive to creasing my eyeshadow usually doesn't really crease because i use an eye primer that really works for my very oily eyelids and with that eye primer i can usually make sure that eyeshadows don't crease but with this one at the end of the day i felt like it looked a little bit like it moved around a bit too much a little bit creasy it's just a little bit of a thicker stickier more emollient type of shade which isn't bad but it's something to keep in mind it's so pretty though like these shifts are so nice 
but I just have to be a little bit careful with this shade. So all in all, I don't feel like this is the perfect palette, but I've done some really, really pretty looks with it. I've really enjoyed the looks that I did with it. But I feel like there are a few things that could have been done to make it just a little bit better, to make it really, really good. Now I would give it like a 7.5 out of 10, but I feel like with a few little adjustments this could have easily been like a nine so i'm still happy that i picked it up because there are some really beautiful shades in this but it's not my new favorite not my perfect palette and i think if i had known this and i would have just bought it for myself not for a video i probably just would have picked up the three smooth metallic shades and not the rest of the palette I do really love the packaging. The look of the packaging is really beautiful. It's not too Christmassy, but I feel like I would have been really happy if I had gotten tinsel, jingle bells, and then fairy lights. Just those three shades. Those are my faves. All right, then another palette that I bought quite a while ago, like a while ago, but I didn't feel a rush to review it because it was a while ago, like a year ago that this came out over a year ago like so long ago i didn't feel the rush to try it i didn't feel the rush to try it out and really review it i of course would still want to update you but i think a lot of people already talked about this palette and bought this palette i really love the shade selection in here really love the shades in here the shimmers are gorgeous the mats work really well it's such an interesting color story I definitely think that this is the best mini palette that I've tried from Odin's Eye. The other two are pretty nice, but this just has something special, something interesting, something a little bit out there. We have some interesting options. You can make it a bit more green, a little bit more soft, a little bit more purpley if you focus on this one. Even though it isn't like super, super purple, it's pretty deep but you definitely have some options and i really really loved wearing this palette love working with this palette this is a great one i would highly recommend it but with this palette it is just like everybody raved about it everybody thought it was amazing and they were right it is amazing it's just like everybody said and that's all i really have to say about it then we have the pat mcgrath labs bridgerton collection also pretty long time ago that i tried this i was really excited to try this collection really excited when this was first announced this is the eyeshadow palette i do think this is a cute palette we have some cute shades in here we have some interesting formulas this is a very like shiny kind of light blue to periwinkle it almost has like a purple gray to blue flip i think this is a very interesting shade we have some pretty nice metallics but i think they're pretty standard especially this one is pretty basic this shade works quite well it's just a pretty standard matte these two shades are kind of like a baked gelée. they are not extremely pigmented they are not super pigmented you're not gonna build a very deep look with them and they also look pretty similar on the eyes this is a palette where you can get kind of like a cute subtle look it's nothing really that special that interesting and i think if this would have been like 20 euros i would have been like totally worth it it is pretty you have that special shade it has cute packaging it definitely has some nice vibes and i also love the bridgerton show so if it would have been a little bit cheaper i would have felt a bit more positive about it but i feel like for the price it's a little bit disappointing it's not bad but it's just a little bit basic and then we have the face palette this is a thing that i would pick up again this is a thing that i do not regret picking up we have a beautiful highlighter which is a bit too deep for me if i really pack it on so this if i apply this with a bit of a fluffy brush then it really works for me but if i pack it on the base color is just a little bit too bronzy so i kind of have to work with it but it's fine because it's really pretty then we have this kind of shimmery blush which is really nice the pink is pretty bright but it's not too bright where i can't control it it is just one where i have to be a little bit careful 
just be aware that it is more pigmented and use the right way of application but it's not hard to work with if you know it's pigmented so i think that this is a really beautiful face palette i'm really impressed with it i think especially that glowy blush is so pretty so if i would recommend anything i would say these cheek products are really really nice and if she would come out with another cheek palette like this with like really different shades that really interest me then i would definitely pick it up because this is really nice but i feel like a lot of people are already onto this like the cheek products from pat mcgrath there's something there it's they're pretty interesting there's something she does with the formula that really makes it worth the money then a little while ago i tried a bunch of lys beauty they finally became available on Cult Beauty, so they finally became available in Europe, and I was so excited to try them. There are some products by them that I love, and there are some products by them that I don't care that much about. What I really, really love from their collection is their cream blushes. This is the one in Inspire. This is a beautiful formula. It's so easy to work with. Beautiful shades. It just has this very perfecting formula it makes your skin look so good it's not a flat matte it definitely has a glow to it i also have another shade let me see the shade called confident is more of a mauve tone the other one is more of a very warm corally tone i really love both of these cream blushes they are a very beautiful formula and they are also pretty affordable. I'm really into these. I would highly recommend them. I think I like these better than the Honest Beauty one. There's just something about these that's a little bit more like an airbrushed finish. And the colors of these I really, really love, especially combined together. It's beautiful. They're just so easy to work with. And I always talk about this type of blush formula that kind of works as like airbrush for your skin that makes your skin look better. And I just love the kind of formula because I don't really wear any foundation or base products. Today I'm wearing kind of like a tinted primer kind of thing from Catrice that I wanted to try out again. It just smooths the skin a little bit but doesn't really hide any imperfections. But I usually don't really wear foundation. If I have a pimple or something I might wear a concealer. But I really heavily lean on my cheek products to perfect my skin a little bit and these really really do that these really work for that so that's why i'm really into these then something that i didn't like as much is the aim high liquid highlighter this one is in the shade genuine is that the shade i guess it is so this is kind of like a rose gold shade i just feel like this is a bit hard to work with I feel like it doesn't blend that well. You have to be careful what products you combine it with. I have tried this multiple times and it looks kind of blotchy. It doesn't blend well with powder. It doesn't work well on top of powder but also not under it. It's a bit strange like they don't mix together. So it can so it kind of works if I combine it with other cream products, but I don't really feel like struggling with a product like that because there are other cream highlighters that i like more than this that give a better effect and are easy to blend into other products i also don't feel like the shade of this is so beautiful or interesting that i feel like going through the trouble i would recommend the kiko liquid highlighters over this for sure those blend out way more easily and I don't really have any problems with those. But this is just a bit of a finicky product. And I just wasn't into this one. Then we have the No Limits Matte Bronzer. This is a pretty nice bronzer. I don't really have any complaints about it. It is a pretty nice shade. It blends out well. It didn't wow me as much as the cream blushes did for sure. It is kind of like this healthy sheen kind of bronzer. Which I quite like. And yeah, it blends out nice it has this kind of like natural finish to it you know it's nice but it's not as groundbreaking i feel like i have more bronzers that are kind of like this kind of like this formula and i feel like those cream blushes are just a little bit extra special they work just a little bit better than most other cream blushes that i have so i feel like if you go for something from this brand go for the cream blushes but this bronzer is also good it's also good it's also quite nice i quite like it it's good i have no complaints but sometimes makeup products don't really have that special thing that really really makes me like it a bit more than the rest or really makes me want to 
recommend it to you and i think this is just a good decent bronzer then we have the aim high highlighter in the shade genuine as well this one is just a little bit too deep for me so i feel like i'm a bit harsh on it because of that but it also just looks a little bit too like metallic and it I don't feel like it blends into the skin as beautifully i feel like it lays on top of the skin a little bit it just doesn't look natural it doesn't look like it really blends in the skin and i just love highlighters but you can't really tell where they begin and i feel like this doesn't really work for me of course it could be the case that this would work for me if the shade was a bit lighter it would probably work better for me but i have tried some deeper highlighters where i could definitely tell that i love the formula and that it looked very like glass skin like and every time i've tried it i just felt like it's just a little bit too metallic a little bit too thick also when i swatch it here it just feels a bit thick so i'm not really into this highlighter formula it's not that it's bad but i have just tried so many beautiful highlighters and this is just fine it's it's okay but no i wouldn't recommend it then i bought a highlighter that people have been raving about at least i've heard a lot of people rave about this one this is the nyx professional makeup high glass illuminating powder in moon glow so this is kind of like compared to the colourpop super shock highlighters it definitely has the same kind of formula it is a pretty highlighter it is glowy it is shiny it looks very natural on the skin it just blends into the skin you can tell like this is this highlighter and this is the highlighter by lys beauty and you can tell that it's a bit more natural a bit less metallic maybe it's also the lighting but when i see this on the skin it just looks more like part of the skin it's a pretty natural highlighter you can build it up but it's kind of like that glow from within a little bit of a glass skin look it is very pretty i do get the hype but i feel like this shade is just a little bit basic for me it's not really like the type of shade that gets me going that really gets me excited of course i could have known i could have known that because i know what i like but i just felt like maybe this formula is gonna make it up is gonna make that up and make me feel better about this highlighter as a whole because if the formula is amazing then the color can be a little bit less interesting but i just feel like it's a pretty highlighter would i say go run out and buy it mm, not exactly i think a lot of people will love it i think it's very appropriate for whenever you want to wear this i also think it's nice to have a natural highlighter like this it is pretty it is pretty do i feel absolutely blown away no i have tried other highlighters that i've liked more but I'm glad to have tried it. Then a blush that I was really curious about for the longest time. This is the Neo Nude Melting Color Balm Cheeks and Eyes by Giorgio Armani. I have to tell you, I didn't try this on my eyes. I usually don't try this kind of stuff on my eyes. But I had heard people rave about this. So I decided to pick up a shade. And this is the shade 51. It is a pretty shade. It is a pretty blush. But I just feel a little bit underwhelmed. I just feel like other cream blushes, cream type blushes, make my skin look a little bit better, make me feel a little bit more pretty. It's kind of like this soft matte type of formula, which is quite nice, but I just want something a little bit more exciting and a little bit more special. I just want something that has a little bit more glow. Maybe it's also the shade that didn't do much for me i don't know there's just something about this when i wore it i was just like mm, okay yeah that's a blush but it didn't give me that perfecting wow my skin looks so amazing i look like a bronze goddess type of blush look and that is what i'm looking for so this is just a nice blush but it's pretty expensive to me it isn't worth it i wouldn't say don't buy it i wouldn't say steer clear of this because a lot of people love it and i'm sure this works for a lot of people but for me it's just a little bit boring it's not that i can really tell you something that is wrong with this there's nothing really wrong with it i'm just not excited about it and when i wore it i was just like yeah I have blushes that look better. Then I recently tried the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. 
one day I was just thinking about these um, just randomly I was like you know what maybe I can purchase these maybe there is some place where I can purchase these because sometimes I don't know with newer brands sometimes I don't know if where I can actually buy these sometimes I don't realize that I can actually buy these from the website and then get it to Europe so I one day I was just randomly wondering if I could buy these from the Make It By Mario website. I checked the website and everything was in stock. I, th it, it, I think it was like makeup magic. As if I knew that they were going to be restocked. I was so lucky, I think, that I checked in that moment because the next day half of it was gone. And I keep hearing that these keep being sold out but I checked and everything was there so I picked up the shades bronze glow rose glow apricot glow and they come in this color type of packaging the color of the actual lip product and you can kind of twist it up and then you can twist it down and apply this to your lips they are very very soft very like emollient and the moment they touch your lips they kind of melt they have this tingling sensation a very minty they look like a gloss on the lips they look very very glossy which is the reason why i bought these these looked glossier than any other pumping gel lip product like sheer shiny lip product that i've tried so i was very curious that's also why i bought three shades I kind of like these, but I just feel like the moisturizing kind of thicker, shiny feeling on the lips wears off very fast. When I wear this, it just feels like they disappear off my lips almost immediately. Usually when I wear lip products, if I don't eat, they will stay on. But with this, if I just talk a little bit, drink something just exist they wear off so they have this very interesting shiny look to them but you are definitely paying for it with the longevity the wear time isn't amazing so i think these are very pretty but especially for photos i could reapply them but i'd rather just wear a lip product that is gonna stay looking pretty nice during the next few hours I mean, if I wear another type of sheer shiny lipstick, it's not gonna look as shiny at the start, but after like 30 minutes, it's gonna look more shiny. So was I a bit disappointed in these personally? Yes. Do I regret buying them? I don't know yet because they are so pretty when just applied. They are a bit spancy though. To be honest, my favorites are very affordable like Kika Milano and Catrice. They have such beautiful sheer shiny lipsticks. Those are amazing. They last long. They are just very pretty and yeah i think i like those over these so if you are looking for something that stays on the lips i wouldn't recommend these do with this information what you will because i get the appeal of these they are so pretty when you just apply them but they just don't live up to the hype fully according to me all right so i recently tried the catrice caviar gouge collection and i was pretty impressed with that collection in the video and i'm actually still pretty impressed with the collection so first up we have the eyeshadow palette i think this is a pretty cute palette this shade is quite pigmented the shimmers are kind of subtle nothing special they are not bad but they are also not amazingly shiny this is a type of palette that you can wear anytime anywhere wear it to work just simple classy and if you're looking for something like that it is pretty it's just these metallics are just quite all right i mean you see the shine but it's a little bit powdery it's not like bam shine metallic it's just a pretty subtle eyeshadow palette there's not really something wrong with this quality but if you are a bit like me and you have a lot of eyeshadows and you are a bit picky with your eyeshadow formula you want your metallics to really be impactful then i wouldn't say go for it if you're just looking for something simple subtle something to wear to school or work i would recommend it it's beautiful packaging it's easy to take with you and it is pretty affordable so it is 
really what you want, what your preference is. It's not bad, but it's not gonna be for everyone. Then something that I'm really happy I bought is the face palette. Everything in this palette is just, it's just really nice. The bronzer works well, the blushes are very nice. We have a matte one and a shimmery one. The highlighter is pretty. Are any of these formulas like a crazy standout, most interesting, beautiful formula I've ever tried? No. But we have four products in here that work well together, that look really pretty, they are decent. You can you can trust that this is gonna work and you have it all in one palette and it's so easy to travel with. I am gonna go to London for a weekend in the summer, so I'm definitely gonna take this because it's so easy to use this it's just so handy and then the highlighter in this it is very pretty it's a bit similar to the high glass highlighter not in formula but in effect like it blends into the skin well it's just a champagne highlighter that's not shimmery it just looks very natural kind of glow from within and that just works for me the thing that i like the most about this is just this idea of having four beautiful products in a palette together with beautiful packaging it's just very compact it's not too big or anything it is just a very cute palette and especially for the price i would recommend it it's nice it's nice it's not my absolute new favorite for that it's not interesting enough what we have inside but it is very good then we have the liquid lip balm this is a very nice sheer shiny kind of cool orangey coral lip balm with gold shimmers this formula is quite nice it's quite hydrating but it is pretty sticky on the sticky side so if you hate stickiness in your lip products don't go for this one don't don't do it it's not like the worst stickiness i've ever experienced but it's not it's not that nice on the lips it does look good it does look nice i loved how it looked but it's not the best liquid lip balm formula there are better ones out there yeah this isn't my fave of the collection it is pretty it's pretty good but it's just a bit too sticky and then we have the spray so this is the glow fixing spray and this has perfume in it so i don't use this every day but when i use it i just really love how it looks it just blends everything in together it has a beautiful spray that doesn't leave any big droplets on your face this just works very well it is just very glowy melts everything in together it is easy to use you don't have these weird squirts of fixing spray in your face like with some other catrice sprays that i recently tried yeah i really like it i would recommend it if you aren't like me and you aren't allergic to perfume i would definitely say give it a go it's really nice like this one and the face palette then this is my favorite cream bronzer this has become my favorite cream bronzer when i bought this i was just like i love cream bronzer i'm interested i don't even like this brand but there is something about this like about the fact that this is such an affordable cream bronzer that makes me curious i don't know sometimes i just see cream bronzers and i'm like yes I just love the idea of them. I love the look of them. I love the promo shots and that got me with this and this is amazing. There is something about this. This is by the way the cream bronzer from Revolution. They recently came out with this. This one is in the shade light. This is so creamy. It is so yummy and creamy and pigmented but not too pigmented. Mm, it can get a little bit pigmented but it is so yummy on the skin it just when you touch it it's almost like molten chocolate but when you blend it out it's so easy to use it's so easy to blend and then when it is on the face it gives the most beautiful kind of like naturally tanned glowy a very creamy look just so juicy your skin looks just so juicy without any shimmer and it isn't tacky or sticky at all it stays on long every time that i use this i just love the whole process of applying my bronzer and just the way my cheeks look after i am so so into this it smells a little bit perfumey but like a little bit sweet but nothing too strong if i hold it there i don't really smell it i don't smell it on my face but this is so good i can i just can't i don't even know how to really explain this to you 
It is just so juicy. Just imagine juicy, glowy, bronzy, summery skin. Not sweaty, but just very creamy. By the way, I'm not wearing it today. This is so good. I'm so into this. I... This is my new favorite also because I love the shade of this. It is just very neutral. It isn't too orangey. And the one that was my favorite before this was the Colourpop Bronzing Balm or the Soul Body Bronzing Balm. And that one is just a bit too orangey, yellowy for me. It doesn't really fit my skin tone. I have a very neutral undertone in my skin. And what usually works the best on me is like neutral to cool colors. So yeah, this is like my perfect formula. Just what I wanted. Every time I bought a cream bronzer, I was actually hoping for it to turn out like this. Just the color, the formula, everything about it is perfect for me. And I don't know how Revolution does something like this. Because I feel like they come out with, with so many products. Maybe sometimes they just do something right by accident like if you just come out with a lot, a lot of products then once in a while you're gonna come out with something amazing i don't know i just had a feeling about this and it turned out to be right it's so crazy because i never ever ever use this brand on my channel but it's so good it's so good i would highly recommend it if you are into cream bronze it's also so cheap like seven euros it is basically nothing for this quality i am in love with this totally completely in love okay one random catrice product i haven't really tried the rest of this collection enough yet but i just want to update you on this one so this is the everlasting blooms ph changing lip balm i don't like this at all i hate this it looks so dry it looks so uneven it is so thin it just doesn't feel good on the lips if you're looking for something that kind of hydrates your lips this isn't it it just doesn't work I hate this on my lips. It looks so, so weird, so dry. Skip it, skip it, please. It's so affordable, but it's not worth it. I have so much makeup here in front of me. I hope this video is not gonna be too long. If it is, I'm sorry, but I had a lot, I have a lot to update you on. So the next thing is this lip oils by Many MUA Luna Beauty. I haven't tried the rest of the things that I bought from Luna Beauty enough, but I have tried these a lot. The reason that I did is that these are amazing and I've put them in my purse. Like they were all over my bags. Like I have different bags to go to certain places and they were all over, scattered all over. I keep losing them and then finding them again. I love this formula. These smell amazing. They each smell of a different fruit. I always forget what it is, but it's like one is mango, one is strawberry and one is something else but these are very hydrating beautiful they look great there's not a lot of color difference i mean this one has a little bit of a peachy tint to it but you don't see it on the lips we have a clear one a peachy one a pink one i would say just buy the one that is your favorite kind of scent and stick with that one you don't really need all three Unless you're like obsessed with lip oils and you want all the scents. But these are amazing. Very hydrating. Very beautiful. Very shiny. They stay on long. They just have this kind of like thicker consistency that feels hydrating. But it doesn't feel sticky or anything like that. Which I love when it comes to lip oils. This is like my favorite type of lip oil formula. So I would highly recommend these. Then the Chanel blushes. I have very mixed feelings about these. My first impression wasn't too crazy positive. So these are the blush Lumiere, like the shiny blushes that they came out in the spring. And I have both of the shades. This one is Peach Rosé. And this one I like the least. This doesn't have a whole lot of pigment. It doesn't have a whole lot of shine to it. Not a crazy amount of shine. And we have some like shimmer particles. Which I wasn't the biggest fan of. This is the swatch. It is not blowing me away. Like that's not a lot. That's not really impressing me. Um... <sighs> I bought these because I really like the look of them. Just the embossing, the whole vibe, the packaging. I thought it looked really beautiful. And just the idea of glowy blushes. It is 
just what I love. It's just what I love. I love glowy blushes. But I felt like these were just a little bit lackluster. A little bit. Yeah, just not that special. I feel like the chunky glitter I could have lived without. Of course I could make it work. But I didn't love it. I much rather would have had that these were like shiny all over. Like completely shiny powders. So this is a one in... Brun Russi. And this one, it's a very interesting shade. I definitely like this one more. It also looks more shiny when I swatch it. It has more pigment. It still has the shimmer particles, but it definitely looks better. It does look very brown in the swatch. I feel like yeah, it's pretty similar. I was hoping for it to look a little bit more red, but it is pretty brown. Yeah, I don't know. These just didn't impress me that much. It's not like they didn't work for me. And in the end, I could kind of like mix these together. And it kind of had that sunburned kind of look to them. But I just feel like these aren't worth it. These just aren't worth the money. They are 65 euros. I don't know how many dollars they are. But in Europe, like in the Netherlands, on the website here. 65 euros is a lot for blushes that are just okay. I also didn't really feel like using these at all. I didn't really feel like making them work. I didn't feel like going back to these because this shade is just so like luster it just doesn't do anything for me and then this shade i have better versions of that color i have much better formulas that have that same type of color that work so much better for me that really give me the vibe that i want that really give me that airbrush look to the cheeks and these don't really do that at all. So I'm not saying that these are very, very bad. Like they are not terrible, but they also aren't good. They also aren't amazing. They are not worth the money. They are the type of blush, if I would wear them, I could live with it. But I would much rather use other blushes. I would get much more excited for other blushes. I'd say skip these. I know they aren't like relevant anymore they aren't that relevant anymore but if you were still eyeing these if you were still wondering what i felt like after a bit i just don't feel like these were worth it to me then and the onus eye hella palette i bought this at launch of course because i love angelica nickfist i love her channel and i really love the club nebula palette so when she announced this i was like you know I love this brand, I love her, let's grab it and I really love the color story we have here. There are a lot of shades in here that are new to my collection because I usually don't go for warmer greens. So this got me a little bit outside of my comfort zone but in the end I really love the looks that I did with this. Yeah, I really did some pretty looks with this palette. I was expecting nothing less than loving this. And I really did love it. The mattes are amazing. This soot shade is a little bit difficult to work with sometimes. Maybe depends on the brush you use and what you combine it with. And you have to be a little bit careful when blending it. Because it's so dark and pigmented. It does work, but it's... It can get a little bit blotchy if you're not careful. But for the rest of the palette, I really, really love it. So many beautiful shimmers. So many beautiful mattes. I love the combination of shades. And I just love that this made me fall in love with warm greens a little bit more than I was. Because I wasn't that much into warm greens. But this really got me to try them and yeah i really love the color she chose i don't think this can really top the club nebula palette that palette was just the moment was just the vibe i was so obsessed with that and i still am so i really love it i would highly recommend it i believe there are still some up on the side it's great quality it's great like execution this is amazing. I really like it. Okay, so I recently tried some Kika Milano that was not limited edition. They added some things to their range. And yeah, I tried some stuff that I actually already have some thoughts about. So first up, I tried this Contour Obsession Contour and Highlighting Face Palette. First thing I have to say about this is I keep thinking that this is my phone. <laughs> this is like the exact shape, size, the curved edges as my phone. It's like the... <laughs> Look at this. I keep thinking that this is my phone. It's so weird to have this like laying on my table somewhere and subconsciously I'm like, my phone is over there. <laughs> it's strange. But we have this palette. 
I bought the deepest shade, which is basically my only complaint with it because it is a very beautiful palette. It is a beautiful formula. It's a bit powdery. Okay, I have two complaints. But for the rest, I really like it. It's a bit powdery. I bought a deeper shade than I should have. Uh, but there's something about these powders. They are very creamy. They blend out beautifully. And they look amazing on the skin. Especially this middle shade. I just use this as a bronzer because I love cool tone bronzer. It's just when you touch it, it kind of turns into a cream. And when you blend this into the skin, it looks very creamy and it looks very natural. It just has this very natural kind of look to it. It looks a bit extreme in the swatch, of course, because I didn't blend it out. And it's a bit of a strange place to swatch. But just when I apply this to my cheeks, it looks so good and bronzy and... I just love this creamy look to the cheeks and this really gives me that. The highlighter is also very, very nice. It is very glowy. It is the type of highlighter that gives you a bit of that wet look to the skin. It blends in the skin. It doesn't emphasize anything. It doesn't look unnatural. It just, it just is a, how do I show this? Like, you're, you're not gonna see anything. Okay, I kind of blend it. <laughs> how am I gonna show this to you? Okay, I kind of blended it out over here, but it is just so natural, beautiful, and glowy. It is not an interesting shade, I have to say. It is just a champagne, but it works very well. It just has that kind of glow from within type of glow, which I really like. It's not the most interesting highlighter ever, especially if you're used to Kiko highlighters, because they do a bunch of different highlighters. They do highlighters very well, so it's not really knocking my socks off because I've tried so many other Kiko highlighters that are amazing and that have more interesting shades. So I wouldn't say buy the palette for the highlighter, unless you don't have a lot of highlighters, you want to try a Kiko highlighter, it is good. The thing that I love about this palette is just that cool tone creamy bronzer and then it is nice to have a highlighter in there as well so taking everything together i really like this palette it definitely isn't perfect i feel like i could go one shade down and i might buy one shade down to just have the cooler tone shade and the warmer tone shade both be something i can use because this warmer tone shade is a little bit muddy but i really think this is an interesting formula and that makes me excited to use this palette. Just that creaminess that it has, it is something different. So yeah, I'm pretty into this palette. It is interesting. It's not perfect, but it's very interesting. Then the blush that I'm wearing today is this Kiko Unlimited Blush in shade 11. It is very nice and glowy. It's kind of like this mauve shade, but it is also very warm. This glow is not shimmery at all. It is just very like sophisticated, very natural. It's not like applying a highlighter to the cheeks or anything like that. Here's the swatch of it. It doesn't look crazy like a highlighter. And that is why this blends into the skin so well. It looks very natural, but still gives you that kind of bronzy, glowy beach look. Like your skin just looks very good and healthy. I am really into this formula. I really love the shade. Just the way it looks on my cheeks is very, very nice. Just, I love formulas like this, where the glow is just all throughout the blush. There's no shimmer particles, but it's also not like a highlighter. It's just very smooth. The glow is smooth. I would highly recommend this. Then a product that mm, I have my doubts about. It's not like the formula is bad, but it doesn't entirely work on me. So this is the Gossamer Emotion Creamy Lipstick in 103. It is just a little bit too light for me. It just emphasizes texture on my lips a little bit. I tried it when I had really dry lips. It looked very bad. I tried it when my lips weren't dry. It looked pretty good, but it still didn't dry, like perfect my lips. Made them look better than without. It just emphasizes a bit too much. I think there's a little bit too much white in this color to work on me. It just looks a little bit odd. Doesn't say that it's not gonna work on anyone, but I just feel like this color... It just doesn't really work with this very creamy formula that just sticks to dry patches a little bit too much. I do feel like deeper shades would probably work on me, but I'd have to try it. This isn't amazing, but it's also not like terribly bad. It's also pretty affordable. It's a really affordable... So it doesn't hurt that much to try another one, but this one I don't know if I'm really gonna 
wear it more often. Then a new formula by Kiko that I'm really, really impressed with is this one. This is the new Ultimate Glow Highlighter. And this is a big gelé highlighter. I'm wearing this today. It is so smooth. It's so beautiful. It blends in the skin so well. It gives this wet look. I love this. It's very, very comparable to the Nabla Skin Glazing. Just look at that. I bought a shade that I usually don't really wear because it's like a really yellowy gold, but I feel like it still looks pretty natural on the skin. It blends in very well. It is just very, very nice. It is over there, a bit blended out. It is just beautiful. A beautiful formula. I'm really into it. I love love Beige Gelé formulas and this one didn't disappoint me. It is beautiful. It's everything I want in highlight. If you're picking anything up from this new collection, this is amazing. Then something that I did not manage to make work is the new Kiko Milano Ultimate Glow Blush 02. I tried it different ways with a brush, with my fingers, applied with my fingers, then blended out with a brush things like that. I tried it different ways, but it is just too pigmented. It's too pigmented for me. I feel like if you have deeper skin, this will probably work because there's something about it. It is very pretty when you swatch it, but it is just very, very pigmented. It has a lot of glow to it. It is a very interesting formula. It is beautiful in a way but i can't make this work it just is too pigmented it just looks blotchy it is just too much it looks so weird either i just take a tiny tiny bit and i can't seem to really blend it out or i take too much and then it looks more like even but it is so much like a stripe of blush on my face i can't seem to do this right and i feel like i could try to figure it out even more but if i have tried it so many ways and it still isn't working i just feel like this product is a bit too finicky and i would rather reach for something else that is a bit less pigmented that can give me the same effect because i feel like i have other products in my collection that can give me the same effect even other products by kiko that just aren't the pigmented that i'd rather use that are just more user friendly so i did not end up loving this one i was really hoping i would it's also the package is just a bit finicky as well. It's also why I don't really feel like opening it right now because it's just this jar with a very liquidy consistency inside so I'm a bit scared it's gonna like fly everywhere and just gonna leak out and everything. So yeah that's a bit of a bummer. Then I have two blushes. I don't know if I really updated you on this. I did put them in a video of me buying multiple shades because I loved a product so much. Uh, but I thought, you know what, I will put it in an updates video as well because not everyone watches every video and this is the official update video. So I kind of recently tried the Clinique Cheek Pop Pearl. I first tried the coral one. I really, really loved it. This is my dream blush formula because it has this beautiful sheen. It's definitely very sheeny but it's very smooth and the sheen is all throughout there are no shimmer particles and it is a big gelé formula i love wearing this i love how it looks in the pan but also when i wear this i just feel like it looks so good on the cheeks i already loved the original cheek pop formula i loved it it was so amazing because it has this beautiful natural sheen to it, it looks so good on the cheek so easy to use it isn't too pigmented but then these are a bit more glowy and i really really love this and i feel like these formulas are what i was hoping the chanel blushes to be like this shade is very similar to the lightest shade of the chanel ones but this just works so well it looks so beautiful and then this one this kind of gives this one kind of gives you that sunburned look but it's a little bit less brown so it looks a little bit more natural this one is ruby pop by the way i love this one as well so i am really into this would highly recommend them these are amazing blushes so good then the last thing that i have some thoughts about i cannot say that i've tried every shade in this palette but i have some thoughts okay this is the lunar beauty outer dimension palette i got this in the mystery box and i can say that i don't love this i cannot seem to make these bronzers work for me because these two shades are too light 
they don't show up on me but then this shade is way too deep never tried to mix them then this shade takes over so easily even if i just take a little bit so it's kind of impossible for me to do my bronzer with this and then what is the point of this palette for me? There isn't really a point to it for me. I don't really use powders like this. I haven't really tried this, this side, I have to be honest with you. But the fact that I can't even use the bronzer shades really makes this already not a fave for me. Already something where I'm like, this isn't working for me. It's not that the formula is bad bad but we have such a big palette with so many shades and i can't make my shade i can't make the shade that works for me maybe in the summer i can try it again but for now i'm like this is a dot for me it doesn't work for me i guess if you are a makeup artist then this could work but it's so bulky it's such a bulky palette i i would rather take three of these little palettes with me if i would have a job as a makeup artist i don't know anything about it of course but if i would have a job as a makeup artist and i had to take some makeup with me to do makeup on different skin tones i wouldn't take this heavy bulky packaging that is bigger than my head i wouldn't yeah i'm not a fan of this so far I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm sorry. All right. I feel like this was the biggest update video I've done so far. Maybe I was also a little bit slow, but there was a lot to chat about here, a lot to tell you, but I feel a very happy that I actually did. I feel it feels like a little bit of a clean out like summer cleaning pre-summer cleaning like i'm getting back on track here at least i've told you about these products and now i can go on with my life and try out some newer products and have some room in my review drawer so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe let me know if you tried any of these products as always i love to hear from you and then i'll see you in my next video bye bye <music>